Um, okay, so I have a little bit more than I thought I would have at the end of the month, but okay. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys all the books which I bought in July. Hi! <laughs> editing Sabine here, naked face looking Sabine here. I just started editing my July book haul, which I'm now calling my summer book haul due to the fact that in August I didn't buy any books. Today is the 15th of August, but I am prohibiting myself from buying any more books than I already have because I still need to read so many. Hence why I'm changing the title of July book haul to summer book haul. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to let you know, and now let's cue the intro. I've been having a little kind of deal or challenge with myself to not buy as many books as I have in the past. And until so far, I've been doing really well this year. I don't know the exact number of books that I've bought like in total, but I do know that this month I bought a little more books than I initially wanted to. Nonetheless, I think that this pile is a really good pile that has great books in it. And let's just start with my book haul. The first book that I bought, and I've already read this one and absolutely loved it, but I won't go into detail about what I thought of it because I just filmed my wrap up. And that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. After I read Daisy Jones and The Six by this author, I was like, okay, I might actually have to pick up this book. This book came out before Daisy Jones and The Six and people have been raving about this, but I never wanted to pick it up because I was like, first of all, this is adult fiction. Second of all, I don't know if I want to read a whole life story about this fictional character called Evelyn Hugo. But um, looking back, I was mistaken. This is an exceptionally good book. And don't feel intimidated by the term adult fiction because I feel like Taylor Jenkins reads a writing style makes you just want to read the story. Her characters are so complex and realistic, which just makes you want to know every single detail about them. In the story, we follow Evelyn Hugo and she has married seven men. We follow her life story through each marriage, I would say probably, and it's written in such an interesting style. What I also really loved is the element of like Hollywood fame and a famous actress living her life from the 50s to the 80s, seeing how not so glamorous Hollywood is. It was just absolutely amazing and I gave this one five out of five stars. This is not a wrap up, this is a book haul, so I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Next up, something really exciting. I never really get a lot of emails from publishing companies, but this month I received an email from Ono Press and if I wanted to receive a God's Children by Mobley Roberts and I said yes because this is a publishing company which only publishes books written by women, which I really love as a feminist and yes, everyone should have equal possibilities, but I just love that there is also a publishing company, especially for females. I don't know too much about this book. I know that it is heavily inspired by the life of Kate Marston, and apparently Kate Marston is this really great female. And I don't know what else to say. It's just really bad that I don't know much more about her than that. I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I'm gonna start this book. I just want to know as much as possible about her, but I'm very intrigued to start this one. Next up, I got this book from a friend of mine, so thank you so much, Jasper, for giving it to me. And that is a 1984 by George Orwell. Or uh, George or, well, damn his name. He had to read this book for English and he gave it to me. And I know that this is just like a classic, I believe dystopian novel. Yeah, he said that he really enjoyed it and he doesn't really read books. So I think that's a good sign. <laughs> Next up, I have a secondhand book because I also do like secondhand book shopping on Amazon and then you find great books for like so much cheaper. So I found How Hard Can Love Be by Holly Bourne, the paperback for only like four euros instead of nine, which is insane. Same. I read the first book in this like, how'd you say that? It's not really a trilogy, but it's more like companion novels. I read the first book in this companion novel series, Am I Normal Yet, back in June. And I just, oh, I fell in love, not only with Holly Bourne's writing style, but that story was just an amazing YA book about mental health and feminism and friendship. And it's everything that I want a YA contemporary to be like so relevant, but also just, just so amazing. And this is the companion to that. We follow one of the other friends from Am I Normal Yet? I believe this one is a little bit more lighthearted, I'd say. I don't know much like about what this book basically deals with, but we follow Amber and she's being sent off to this camp in America, I believe. And she meets a boy there 
and how can this like not be a disaster is what she is basically telling herself. I don't know what else I need to know more about it, but I just really enjoy Holly Burns' writing style and I'm pretty sure that I will like this one just also a lot. I don't know if I will like it just as much as Am I Normal yet, but I will have to read this in order to find that out. Um, after I read the first hundred pages of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I was like sold and I was just like, I need to read all of Taylor Jenkins Reads books. So I bought another one of her books and this one is One True Loves. This is a story about Emma, our main character, and in her 20s she marries her high school sweetheart. Our main character is a freelance writer and her husband is a production assistant on nature documentaries. So he goes on this helicopter ride one day and the helicopter basically disappears and her husband is lost. A couple of years later our main character falls in love with another guy and it gets engaged again and then all of a sudden the helicopter gets recovered and now this is a story about- is this a story all about how- okay I'm sorry it just I had to do that. This is basically about our main character struggling with how to act next and I think it's a really interesting concept and I really want to know how it works out. I bought another book second-handed and this one is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gil Honeyman. Oh my god her last name is so cute Honeyman. I've heard nothing but great things about this book. I believe it is an adult fiction book. I will read to you what is in the synopsis right here. Eleanor Oliphant leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal deal for lunch every day, and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Eleanor Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled life, except sometimes everything. One simple act of kindness is about to shatter the walls Eleanor has built around herself. Now she must learn how to navigate the world that everyone else seems to take for granted, while searching for the courage to face the dark corners she's avoided all her life. Change can be good, change can be bad, but surely any change is better than fine. Oh, uh, so I got this hardcover edition for just under, I think, five euros even. And look at how pretty it is. I love the spine. It's so pretty. After I've read two adult fiction books this year, I feel much more confident trying to get more into adult fiction right now. So if you guys have any recommendations for that, please let me know in the comments. But I think I'm gonna start this one very soon because I just feel intrigued. After finally reading The Hate You Give in July by Angie Thomas, I picked up her new book on the come up and I don't know super much about this one, but I only know that it is about a girl who wants to become a really great rap star and that's all I need to know. I think that this will be a really great story again. I'm just really excited to see if I will like on the come up just as much as The Hate You Get by her. <sighs> and then the last book that I bought in July is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I'm also currently reading this. I'm just like almost a quarter of the way through the book. This is a newly released YA fantasy story and I find it really difficult to explain what it's about. If you guys want to know more about the synopsis of this book, please look it up on Goodreads because I'm not that great at explaining summaries. Just know that a lot of people are raving about this. It has amazing ratings on Goodreads and I have yet to find out if I will have an amazing like praising opinion about this book as well. So those were all of the eight books which I bought in July and now I really have to try and restrain myself again from buying books because I have enough books to read already and I just keep buying them while I shouldn't. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!